everybody i'm so ready for this video so i just did a paper deck tech for grease fang and now i'm going to show you what it looks like on brawl so you can kind of get an idea of what it maybe could look like if you do bring it to a paper format this is the commander where you're getting access to black and white it's a three costed commander one colorless one white one black grease fang will keep a boss legendary creature rat pilot at the beginning of your combat on your turn return target vehicle card from your graveyard to the battlefield it gains haste. Return to the owner's hand at the beginning of your next end step. Now, really, kind of what stimulated me to like put this deck together real quick was, I was really like Jones in on, you know, including the portal to Phyrexia in the EDH list, and uh, I really, I really wanted to kind of explore like what Oswald Fiddlebender could do do for us, and um, I really liked the idea of having Oswald out and basically bringing about like a Parhelion, for instance, uh, through Grisfang's attack, and then sacrificing that Parhelion and then going immediately into a portal to Phyrexia. I thought that was like a very interesting thing to maybe try out and kind of like really skip the curve, really get ahead and have a really powerful interaction that will, will, will sometimes actually work for us. So that was kind of like my main idea of that. Um, Additionally, I feel like just doing like a brawl list, I feel like it can get my mana a little more responsible. Like, um, I'm already playing like, you know, it seems like six more lands and it seems much more manageable. I can kind of see a better idea of where I want, what vehicles I want to include and maybe which ones not to. I mean, even just looking at this list right now, we don't have an exhaustive list, but for instance, I can already see like, for instance, like, um, let's just go with like a demolition stomper. Like, I'm going to definitely be playing, like, a Reaver Titan over this card. Let's just be honest, right? Additionally, like, a Thundersteel Colossus, this could be, like, a, a Pride Win or a Cyber Ship. I mean, the quality of cards gets so much better when I'm moving to EDH. I can kind of, like, even, like, I mean, I kind of like a Skitty, Skitty, sorry, a Cityscape Leveler in this deck because, honestly, like, even though it's not a vehicle, it's just a great hit for, like, Reanimate or... You know, for instance, maybe our Invoke Justice or our Abuelo's Awakening. So I think I'll keep that in. Um, but I can just sort of see, like, you know, maybe some some different kind of cuts here. But we definitely have, like, a kind of more creature-centered aspect, which was recommended to me a while back. And I kind of wanted to explore it a little bit more. And maybe we could get, like, an Elish Norton early in our graveyard and then go ahead and reanimate. And even in, like, a... You know, we can do that even in a brawl format. So, I mean, it's just a taste of what EDH can offer us. Um, so, I mean, I like all these choices, too, like kind of on the sixth spot. Um, I just, I can see, like, you know, Enchanted Carriage. That's, I think there's probably like four vehicles or so, like just off the top of my, my head. Like Knight Paladin, Reaver Titan, Cyber Ship, and the Pride Wind, where they just slot in here. And I can just order to kind of see, like, you know, we're going to be cutting some of these in favor of that. And, um, you know, I think we're pretty much having all those cards accounted for. I'm kind of curious to see how the Golden Argosy does. I want to see how the Golden Conqueror's Galleon does as kind of like a backup because I like how that land option lets us draw a card and then discard a card, which is very synergistic for what we want to do. We want to keep putting our vehicles back in our graveyard. So um, let's just give it a go. I mean, this is like Grease Fang, so let's, let's, see, how, let's see what happens. Kind of interested to see what kind of queue we get into also. So we're going to do like two matches today. And uh, let's see how this goes, guys. And that's a very good hand. I mean, Mesmeric Orb is exactly what we want. So, yeah. That's a it's an easy keep for us. I don't know, do you want to like search up a, like a dismal backwater or anything? I'm not exactly sure. We can just can we even yeah, we could just find that with this card. So we got a moti, that's kind of interesting. Hey Mindstone. Go scry this up real quick. Yeah, we got it. There it is. I don't think we need land. Smuggler Copter is interesting. I don't really have anything to put in my yard. We could just put that right in the graveyard. Just a vehicle for Grease Fang. Um, and now I guess we just go right into the Spire here. I 
I guess we could have done Nectos to save a life point. Okay, land, land. So what are they, what are they doing? Moti is scary. Very scary. I'd like to get like a Parhelion in the yard. <laughs> Would be the best. No such luck. So we will be able though to... I can't wait to Toxic Day lose this board really to be honest. Sure. Get our points in. Um, probably put the stomper in the yard. I wouldn't mind like toxic toxic delusion for like maybe just one, you know. Keep our grease fang alive. Hopefully they don't. I mean, if they interact with the grease fang too, then I could kind of work off that. What do they get? Oh, a keratid. That's perfect. Hopefully they don't have like um, a pact of negation would be very brutal here. I'm really looking for that big stuff, right? Wow. Wow. Hey, man. All those look really interesting. Um, do I have any vehicles in there? I do. I have that big guy. So. Hmm. Let's go here. Let's put down the Ligonjo. Dark Ritual. Toxic D for one. And then... Spirit. Okay, and we get an, a fast concede from there. So what do we what do we get on that? Um, we would have I think 10, 10 hit points of damage there with the uh, demolition stomper. Yeah, ten hit points. So that's pretty good. And um, that was it, guys. That was the game. So <laughs> yeah. Not so bad. Okay, MOT down. Feels good. Feels real good. I had some nasty threats in the graveyard. Ooh, really good reanimate targets like Elish Norn. Ooh, baby. That's good, right? Yeah. I mean, you can play Animate Dead and Reanimate for sure, right? When you get to EDH. I mean, just kind of just slot in. I like this hand. We kind of have like some good components here. I think we'll get right into our um, throne here. I don't really see like a purpose for reanimating the bugler. You may put a historic permanent from your hand on the battlefield. Oh no. Well, I got a shield. Eh? That's kind of a fun reanimate target. Hopefully they put a permanent out there that I can kill. What do I have in the yard? Nothing really. Um, Oswald. I mean, we could just cast the Weatherlight. I feel like we're not going to cast the Weatherlight, though. So let's just get that there. It says Crew 1. Okay, that's pretty good. What does this get? Permanent? 
Okay, not a permanent. What is that copy? That. Okay, sure. Wow, they have so much mana. Supplier. Oh, interesting. Still no cards for me to really kill. Let's move to combat. Tuffy one. I don't think I need lands. And I'm kind of far away from the leveler, but the leveler is probably pretty good here. Try the limo. I mean, if they take out Grease, Greasy, why oh, they leave Grease Fang? It's kind of strange. Shambling suit. They're going to draw? Oh, they had lots of gas, huh? I'm probably going to eat their suit. And... Hmm. What do I want to do? I can bone shards too. Um, yeah. I mean, I can just, you know, bone shards this guy here. We'll just discard the um, weather light. And then I'll reanimate Sheldred. And maybe I can like try to get into a Parhelion still. Should we just roll it? See what happens? Okay, what do I get back? I suppose I can get back the supplier? Mm, too bad I didn't leave black mana open. Um, probably the most value I'll get out of this is probably the uh, supplier. Let's go to combat. Right, there we go. Probably gonna push damage, right? No, let's take advantage of this. Sure. 
kind of got to do the Ugin thing, right? <laughs> so much mana, though. Eight costed Ugin can take out the Grease Fang or probably the Sheldred again. What a weird game. Oh, just to concede, huh? Wow, colorless. I, I'm kind of afraid of that that matchup, but that worked out. So I guess we'll do a curtain call on this one and just grease fang, just, just doing this stuff, man. Just doing this stuff. Wow, that's a weird one. They were very spooked out about that Oswald and very well, you know. I think can even get into my Bolas Citadels, really. Um, this is actually not a bad hand. I mean it is a little awkward with a tap land. Um, do I have any like I do have some removal. My Rel shit. Um I don't know if this keeps up with my Rel. Let's read a mulligan this one. Uh, me hook's pretty good for them. I still don't have the mana for it, but... Yeah, we'll keep the meat hook for sure against my rel. We need uh, another swamp. That's pretty good. Um, I just decline. I'm not playing anything yet. Guardian Idol. So it looks like they're going to have um, my Rel on board sooner than later. I have a Thundersteel Colossus. And I can just basically resurrect that anytime. I can put it in the yard right now, too. So the fleet, the fl the spirit goes on end step. So when the end step happens, then you know that's how that works. So oh, this toxic deluge looks like really good right now. Um. It looks so good. Do we want to wait a turn? Can we go toe to toe with the Myrel? I got the meat hook too. It's a kind of a hard shit decision. I could go meat hook for one. Maybe next turn. Let's just, let's just put some damage on the board. See if they want to interact with a grease thing, maybe with like a swords or maybe even like a creature. Like a, I don't know. For soldiers, they don't have access to too many of those effects. Looks like they're kind of landlocked, so they're kind of kind of struggling here. They do put counters on their creatures too. I mean, I, I run like basically an identical list to this so far.
We'll just do the same thing, just pop the, the thunder seal. Okay, and it is an ossification. Okay, very well. That's kind of okay, I guess. Um, sure. I don't have too many ways to interact with that enchantment stuff, so they'll probably swing on me. Just two? Okay. Um, yeah. I think what we'll do here is we'll just go ahead, do the fleeting spirit thing, and then probably just meat hook this board real quick, so. Warmir, of course, really decent soldier. What's really nice about this, um, I mean, next turn at least, is that I can start getting value off the Thundersteel Colossus too, with the, like the village rights and such, get closer to the Elish Norn. And I really don't mind trading with this Boromir either, if they want to. No. That's totally fine with me. It basically, like, makes their Myrel so much worse, because they need soldiers to swing on. That's, like, kind of how they make that work. So... Okay, no, um, no vehicles in the yard at the moment, so um, we can get this down here. Looks like we can Elish Nor next turn, and um, they can have a turn um, swinging if they want. The crew here is on three, so I could even block their Myrel. But no, I can't activate the Cultivator, actually. Not right now. Okay, the tree. Okay, that's fine. So they get to have a swinging turn with Myrel, which is good for them. Oh wow, like a little Voltron-y stuff. Did not expect that. Okay, so that's 10 damage. Well, that's way different than the list I had, so that's really interesting. Um, Norn seems pretty good here, I guess. Except like... Kind of pumps me up a little bit, huh? Or we can Toxic D for like 10. That would put them in a pretty bad spot. Then they have this on the swing back. Hmm. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess. I can Sheldred still. Kind of risky. What does a Norn do? It gives me some blockers. What's this do? Oh, they can't do this right now. Um. Hmm. They can just keep making soldiers too, so I guess I have to do this for 10. So they need removal spell, guardian idol.
So we just protect our queen, we're just chilling. Okay, sure. All right, Darnavon uh, was doing some scary stuff. I mean, some weird Myrel stuff, so. Man, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. But hey, there it is. There was the greasy guy, greasy girl. And uh, yeah, I had a great time. I had a really good time with this deck. It was, uh, it seemed like really good. It seemed pretty strong. I didn't have any, t I didn't have too much problem getting into the higher end stuff. Um, does Golden Argosy like make the way into, I don't think so. I think like how I see this, um, I feel like maybe the Conqueror's Gallon could have a say, but I, I really have to like look at the, what I see here for now is, um, I mean, even the Thunderstill Colossus kind of got in there, to be honest with you. But I definitely have a lot of, like, nice, um, you know, artifacts to kind of add in. Um, this one basically adds a land and then adds, like, kind of a discard effect. So um, that one's pretty cool. I mean, I think it's more cool than not. So kind of keeps you gassed up in there. Um, Golden Argosy, I'm not so sure about. So that could be maybe a cut. I love Weatherlight. Did some great job today. So Golden Argosy could be on the chopping block with Enchanted Carriage. Um, the Demolition Stopper, I can put like basically like a Reaver Titan can go in there. Um, like Knight Paladin, of course, also could go in there as well. So of course, like, you know, just having artifact vehicles in there is like very important in general. So maybe even like, um, even though Cityscape Leveler is very cool, maybe like we still need to focus on vehicles. So I can see like five vehicle choices and I already have them lined up. So. I'll take this list and then I'll I'll put it into um, an EDH list basically with some other upgrades like we'll add like um, we'll probably add in tomb effects and um, also like um, like animate dead I think would also be very cool I think they can kind of maybe be better than like an abuelo's awakening and um, invoke justice so I know I was like thinking oh let's let's get into a portal but I could just add like you know, the Entomb effects um, for our creatures here, and we have some really, really stellar creatures. So uh, overall, I had a very good time, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So um, I'll see you all later. Thanks.